She rang the familiar bell, tucking in her tummy and standing a little taller, remembering the many times she stood on this very spot waiting for Eddie to open the door. She had thought life would be all over by forty, but here she was, forty-one, and still intact. Men on the street still looked at her, though she'd been trained not to look back. The rosy tan she had acquired in the Spanish summer was not about to fade in a San Francisco September, when beautiful Indian summer was just beginning. Eddie must have run down the stairs because he arrived at the door instantly with the chimes still sounding upstairs as he reached out to hug her. Eddie swept her into his arms, engulfing her with his warmth and spicy Florida water scent, the same aftershave her beloved grandfather, Gabriel Almendros, had used. Eddie stepped back. Let me look at you, he said. Do I pass muster, Lorna asked. You look great, fantastic, Lorna. You look good yourself, Eddie. He was of medium height, light brown skin, but with unexpectedly light green eyes, a trim mustache, and kinky waves in his brown, dark hair. He exuded physicality, charisma, and vitality. Strong, she added. He was even more muscular than she had remembered. Strong me no strongs, Lorna. I'm a regular Hercules, he said, falling into their personal code talk. I've been studying martial arts and jogging in Dolores Park with a backpack full of books. There's a battle ahead of us, you know. Reenie gave me your mysterious message, said Lorna. She said you didn't want to discuss it on the phone, so here I am. Yes, so here you are. More beautiful than ever, said Eddie appreciatively. Well, I'm all ears.